Hi, Tiny Home family. This is Lindsay, the Tiny Home Lady, and I'm in my tiny home. That's right. There's the loft up there and our folding ladder. And today I'm really going to feature this table, okay? Because we, we like space, like we like how open it is. You know, it's eight and a half feet wide, so there's only so much you know, width you got inside because you got the wall for at least two inches on each side. So you got like something like in the seven feet. And when we have this table down, which is pretty big, it's almost the size, you know, it's not a full size of four by eight, but it's close. And it is a plywood sheet that's been stained. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to do, of course, was have people around it. Even though we were going tiny, Whenever I saw those like two top tables, I'm like, that's cute and all, but that's not, that's not my jam because my husband's a chef. I'm not going to show you the kitchen because it's messy, but we had to figure out how to get a table and chairs, you know, so obviously there's the stairs here, but if you notice, isn't that cool? They go up into the wall. So let me give a different angle. You know, it's kind of trippy how they fold like that. I, when we were, when we rescued our tiny home from our builder that went bust, we, you know, we're facing, actually what's funny, we were in the hardware store, we had to go find a ladder, what was a utility ladder. So at some point we're like, okay, we need to figure out how we're gonna get up into the loft. I did imagine like a ladder that I would hook and then have to move and every time and then I saw this online and it was just in picture form. It was a picture straight like that. And then it was a picture just like I showed you of it down. Now, super important to have the handle there because I've pinched my finger. <laughs> Hence why we got the handle in there after I pinched my finger and got like the blood blister and all that. It's, you know, it's all part, that's nothing. I sanded my arm. <laughs> anyway, I called it the blood, sweat and tears time of our tiny home life. So if I want to, what we, what we really liked about this table is the ability that if we do just want the two person breakfast nook, you name it, you know, one person can sit here and the other person can sit there. They could even have three people around it. But then when we want to have more people, what we do, because we obviously couldn't have the table up and people sitting there, we put this up. Of course, I'm doing this one handed. And then we pull the table up and it clicks, right? There's another click. I'll show you the clicks. These are from Amazon. Um, they don't go out very far. And notice like this is a really long table. So these under here for this little guy, no problem. But for this one, I looked online. You could like make your own, all this kind of stuff. But instead, my husband did this cool thing where we made legs just to give it the stability that it needs, you know, for the edge here. And we have had people pre COVID. Oh my goodness. We had people here. It's just so fun. And so that's like, you know, the down is one option. Those short little mini table is the second option. This is the third option. There's a fourth option. You ready for it? Okay. I go under here. <laughs> see if I can get this thing. It can get a little sticky. Whoops. Oh, I know. I think it's, oh, I know. It's caught. On this. There we go. Okay. So I click those up. I'm going to make sure it didn't catch on that side. And then, whoop. <laughs> and now I go up and under and it becomes a little, hey, welcome to my tiny home. I'm the tiny home lady and you're watching the tiny home show. Something like that. So haven't launched that quite yet. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling the call, but I did want to show you that cool options of how our table works. Plywood and some brackets like I showed you and some, you know, stabilizers here for that. And we have had two people sitting there. The, the ladder does stick out a little bit more on this side. So you've got that space. And then on this side, obviously more people can sit right up to that wall. So 
there you have it. And super excited launching the Tiny Home Challenge starting Monday, January 25th. And we'll be doing another challenge at the end of February and also the end of March. Really, it's a way to explore this whole world. Oh, the five part framework, the five building blocks to buying or building your dream tiny home. Plan, design, build, park, and live. And each part of that, each part has a sub part. And it really helped me to guide my clients that I work with to design their tiny homes and find their dream tiny home builder. By going through this, we really start detailing out and coming up with a strategy for each one of these sections. So will likely be one of the sections where they really need to focus. Like it might be, well, I don't want to move forward unless I find a place to park and I need some creative ideas on how to do that. Or let's say I really don't know um, the builder and I'm not sure how much my tiny home will cost. I have some ideas. And so we go through that. The design, obviously there's so many pictures, deep dive on the YouTube and you know, on Google world, on images, you can find tons of ways, but there's a way to really vision. And there's even a way on figuring out how to make choices that don't always involve, involve our mind. They involve more of our heart and our body. And so, and then of course, just planning And at each point, I, I feel like it's a wheel. It's a linear experience, not, uh, I'm sorry. It's a circular experience, not a linear one. So there we have it. All right, you guys, join the Tiny Home Challenge. Look forward to seeing you. Bye.